What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. We're going to officially uh, reveal. Well, we did in the last video if you guys caught it, but we didn't do much of a walk around or explaining the ins and outs of our newest addition to the fleet. Something to tow our race Mustang that yes, we still have. Sorry if I baited you in the last video, but we have to emphasize a little bit of drama in these videos. I mean, who watches TV or any movies without some kind of excitement or suspense? But yes, we still have the Mustang. It's going nowhere unless somebody brings me a whole lot of cash. But uh, we wanted something. This is, guys, this has been a long time coming. We needed something to tow the Mustang around to different events, different tracks, and this is it. This is what's going to get the job done. So we need to come up with a name. We have the Red Queen back in the garage. What is this thing going to be? So both race red. I had to do it right. Race red Mustang, race red truck. Now we need to find a trailer. I don't know if we're going to do black or red, but we are on the hunt. Anyway, what I want to do in this video is give you an overview outside and in uh, some of the things that I've been able to pick up on because this is the this is only the third truck that I've ever owned in my life I had a 2004 FX4 F-150 and I've had a 2014 GMC Sierra and Now this so this is above and beyond anything that I've ever owned as far as trucks and even a lot of cars but uh, anyway what I want to do is walk you around the exterior because I've already been hit up in the comments some of you guys are out there in the market for a, a new truck this is a 2021 this is the new new this is uh fresh to the market only been out for you know uh, a little while now and uh it hopefully will aid you in your decision making process on now forgive me if i miss some things in this video i'm i've had it for two days and i'm still learning and like i said i have not owned a truck in a while so uh yes big shout out to jenkins and Wynn in clarksville tennessee uh hit up my boy floyd Ward or Sean Allen and they'll be able to hook you up tell them that I sent you not a sponsored video by any means but uh, they've always taken really good care of me um, in the past bought a lot from them and uh, they treat me like family but what I like is just the overall appearance now I originally started my hunt for like an SXT. Finding one like I wanted is was proving to be very difficult. This one, however, wasn't a lot. It was race red and I had to get it. So what I'm getting at is this is a trim level above, obviously, but we are missing the paint match front and rear and the chrome grill here. I, I, I don't know. I, I think that all of this is going to change you can get these color matched with some of the other packages but like i said this was on a lot it was there i didn't have to wait on it and uh, we pulled the trigger on it so i'm overall happy with it but this is the way that it looks and i absolutely love it you have a whole new design of the uh, the hood the front end everything is uh, super fancy it's gonna be hard to tell but really at nighttime it's really prevalent very very sharp looking around the edges the way the leds come on especially at nighttime looks absolutely stunning i just want to get you all the angles this is the headlights all new design right again i'm not really a big chrome guy so all of these little chrome bits i may be replacing and changing uh, as time goes on but i don't know i mean i actually don't mind it if i have to be honest with you it's uh, it's, it's subtle and uh, appealing of course it is a uh, xlt f-150 and then i've got to set up our code still haven't done that yet i've only had the vehicle for two days uh, need to get some fender liners you can get them from ford or aftermarket but you know it's got a nice overall presence to the vehicle it's got a nice nice rake to it we probably will do at some point some kind of like a level maybe a two two and a half inch level kit in the front and uh go from there fx4 had to have it easy let down tailgate mine does not have the center step here i don't think that i would use it that much anyway so i'm not really missing i don't think i'll be missing it we do have power in the back one of the cool things is you can option these out if you're ordering one if you find one or maybe you go a trim level above you can actually get these back here with a generator which is pretty cool so you could power up like a trailer or a camp or something like that but i still do have power which for me is going to come in very handy because when we go to the racetrack i can run like some fans or whatever to blow off the supercharger as the car would sit behind and uh, very convenient to have power in the bed and of course if you're working at night 
We do have a Tanu cover on the way. We already have parts on the way for this thing. I do not have the uh, sliding window. I didn't care about it, so I'm not missing it. This might be a lengthy video, but I want to be able to show you all of the details because you might be in the market. So start off with the doors, nice stitching here. And uh, you have like this nice, uh, I don't know if this is like wood grain or or something, some kind of cool design here. It looks really fancy. I do have the B&O audio in the Ford Mustang that I have. I haven't ripped it out or not like that. I absolutely love it, I had to have it. But I can tell you, this stock sound system honestly rivals that. I mean, you can get these things paired up with a whole bunch of other speakers everywhere, even speakers in the headrests. But I can tell you for a stock radio, this thing hits pretty good. It sounds it sounds amazing. I, I don't know that I would spend the money, honestly, on the B&O. So XLT. It's gonna get you cloth interior. They are heated. It looks very, very nice. This is a really cool thing right here. So if I push this button, watch this. So I'm gonna push it. Down goes the tailgate. So cool that I can do that from inside of the cab. The meat and potatoes of the video, I think. And that's gonna be the center screen. This thing is absolutely freaking huge. Check this out. So push button start. I love it. Got the big splash screens. Oh, let me see if I can do this again. Before we jump over, look at it. See? See how the lights are? That's really sick. That's how it looks at night. I really love it. We do have, look at that, a digital with analog cluster. Uh, my Mustang is full digital. You can get full digital on these. Some nice texturing up here. Interesting to see that this is kind of hard plastic, but this is what it's all about is this center stack here. 12.1 inches and it is absolutely huge. So I have a large size hand. I'm not, and if I get close, I mean, it's, it's ever it's the whole thing sync 4 and this could be a video all in itself the things that you can do with it um, are just endless but anyway it's it's very intuitive very fancy very fast very snappy sync 3 is pretty good sync 4 is absolutely brilliant as far as speeds over sync 3 and then you have lots of storage obviously down here to fit things uh, lots of power everywhere things we already know that the truck is going to have you have storage and then you have more storage a little secret hideaway there and then obviously all right on to the passenger side definitely have our bible with us uh, today we had church um before we go any further let's, you know, let's read from the good book so but i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the desires of the flesh are against the spirit and the desires of the spirit are against the flesh for these are opposed to each other to keep you from doing the things you want to do but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law we'll skip forward a little bit what is the spirit what is the fruit of the spirit but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control against such things there is no law so as we continue this video that's what i want to leave you with is try to bear good fruit keep one in the truck one in the house keep them everywhere come into the back though and there's some really cool things in the back. So lots of leg room. So other than space, we have uh, more power, obviously. So the kids and any passengers you have in the back are never gonna complain, they're never gonna run out of power. So we lift this up and then, well, if you don't wanna use this, it folds flat like this okay and get rid of all that stuff and it'll actually fold flat against the ground which is really nice so again just more capabilities that this thing has more storage options that this thing has which is absolutely brilliant of course you want all of that in a truck you saw the last video though when we took delivery of this truck because i think we're done with the interior um if i find anything else i'll just make other videos i guess but uh, i think we covered about the most of it sync 4 is kind of its own beast it could be a 45 minute video all in itself just the the, the things that you can do with it also the uh the driver controls and everything inside of this cluster thing but anyway one thing that we did not cover in the last video was what engine choice did we go with inside of this truck and uh for all of you that know me you could probably have already figured it out but uh interesting because we did not go with a 3.5 ecoboost nope i chose to go with the coyote yes sir chose to go with the v8 the gen 3 coyote v8 for a few different reasons this 
is all new. Well, it's not all new. It's uh, refreshed for 2021. Has cylinder deactivation, kind of like uh, GM's been doing for a while. And uh, hopefully we'll have no issues with it. I don't think that we will. Ford uh, usually does a pretty good job. And the Coyote has been out forever. So, I, yeah, I just don't think that we're going to have any issues. But, uh, anyway, we need to get a catch can. All that will be coming. But, uh, yeah, direct and port injected. I'm very familiar with this engine. Um, of course, that's in a Mustang. I'm very familiar with it because, you know, we've torn mine down and built it by hand and done all that a million times. So if I ever had a problem with this, I could drop this engine out of this truck and mess with it if I ever wanted to. I teased my wife. I was like, let's just take the blower off of my car and put it onto this because it will fit. Change the throttle body and a couple of things, but that supercharger would fit on this truck. I'm trying to convince her that I'm trying to convince her to let me supercharge this one. I, we're not going to do anything crazy with it. I think about 650 horsepower, you know, maybe 700 out of the truck and just call it quits. You know, some, whatever safe for 93 pump gas, whatever pulley size we need to go with. But uh, wifey, when you're watching this video, um, eventually we need to boost the truck. <laughs> She's going to watch this and absolutely comment no. Anyway, I'm just teasing. So we do have a lot of things that we're going to do with the truck. We're going to make it look a little bit better, but um, we're obviously not going to leave the looks alone. Um, will we do performance stuff? I don't know. This is a brand new vehicle. It's meant to be the family uh, new sedan with truck capabilities because it is a truck and our toy hauler, our tow machine. And I think that... Uh, I think we nailed it, man. Race red for a race red Mustang. I absolutely love the truck. And uh, we got to get the windows tinted. But um, yeah, as far as the V8, um, I love the feel of the power so far. The towing capabilities of the Coyote now for 2021 because they upped the horsepower and torque it's like 400 horsepower 410 torque um is right underneath of the ecoboost 3.5 so we're not there we're not really far off in power anymore or really towing capability it's a truck it's a v8 it makes v8 noises it feels like a v8 it rumbles we had to get a v8 absolutely the 27 was an option too but uh sorry no i don't know much about that engine i know a little bit about the 35 we got a brand new truck we got a brand new warranty so all i gotta do is drop it off and we'll be good to go but in the future because i'm gonna have this thing for a long time i do know how to operate and work on these coyotes and i just felt a little bit more comfortable with it anyway so i digress this is our new f-150 i hope that you enjoyed the walk around we're going to have a lot of fun with this truck and uh we're going to be taking it across the country doing truck things and obviously we need a trailer so we can tow the mustang and uh things are coming together things are certainly really coming together uh this is definitely not a cheap vehicle uh there will be other videos coming on how much this thing costs every single detail on the window sticker what it costs uh and also what it costs per month so subscribe turn the notification bell on guys but this is it this is our 2021 f-150 fx4 xlt i love this truck i hope that you do too but i digress we'll see you in the next video god bless you all and i'll see you later bye